Hi, uh, in this video we will see how to make uh, Android apps for controlling a servo motor that is connected to the Arduino. Let's start a new project and name it. <coughs> so let's pick a layout for this choosing a horizontal arrangement okay and choose a list picker so we'll add an image for the list picker this file connect okay remove the text in the list picker and pick a label and place it above the list picker fill parent okay then text to center so again pick a layout table arrangement place it three now we'll place it as two two choose our horizontal arrangement again width to fill parent and choose <coughs> user interface and select buttons change the text to 0 Forty-five, ninety, one thirty-five, and one eighty. And change the button width to fill parent Yep, so the button is selected here. Then again, uh, go and pick a layout, place it here. So there is no use for the layout uh, here. So I just uh, uh, placing the layout to give a gap between uh, one button to the other button. Let's go on to the user interface and pick a slider, place it here and fill it in parent go and choose color and uh, 
give a minimum value to 0 and maximum value to 179 uh, and go to connectivity and select Bluetooth client go to sensors and pick the clock yes so here the designer part is over go to blocks yeah then choose list picker before picking then go to set the list picker select the elements choose the bluetooth client is <coughs> address and names and go to list picker and choose after picking then go to the control choose if then go to the bluetooth <coughs> and select connect to address and select the uh, list picker selection list picker selection and set the uh, list picker elements to Bluetooth client and address then go to clock then choose when clock timer 1 do go to load control and choose if then if the Bluetooth is connected Set the label one text to connected. And set the label one text color to. Again, choose the control if then logic not if the Bluetooth is not connected, set the uh, level one to not connected and set the text color to red or uh, whatever the color you like to red so let's check uh, let's select the slider so when the slider position change set the label So if you want to know where the slider position is, you can go on and add another label. 
designer going to add another label to this to know uh, what is my slider position label let's pick this here seasonal arrangement to fill parent okay label to two fill parent then the text color center okay now when the slider position changes we can know the position of slider from the label 2 then set the label 2 Next to sorry, text to slider thumb position. So it would be good look better if the position is rounded off go to max and math function and choose round from there select the slider thumb position and call the bluetooth client uh, send uh, you have to choose a uh, send one byte number so you should not you have to be very careful when choosing this and copy this paste it here yes so let's move on and connect the buttons when the first button is pressed or clicked set label to do Able to text <coughs> so we know what is So for when the f we know the value of the first position, so it is zero, and call the Bluetooth copy this. Okay. When the second button is clicked. Copy it and set the second portion value to 45. Forty-five. Then for the third button. duplicate then set this 90 duplicate make it to 90 then go to fourth button Okay, to one thirty five, one thirty five, 
duplicate so change to 180 180 so that's it everything is over designer so this is a program for the Arduino so this will read the bytes and make the servo to move to the position that is sent from the Android device to the Bluetooth which is connected to the Arduino device. Thank you.